Welcome to another episode of The Process Diary where high quality videos about the industrial production process are made available to all. In this video, we would be talking about how electric motors are produced. Electric motors are devices that convert electrical energy into mechanical energy. They are widely used in many different applications from powering household appliances to driving industrial machinery. The importance of electric motors lies in their ability to provide a clean, efficient, and reliable source of mechanical power without the need for fossil fuels or other non-renewable resources. Electric motors come in many different shapes and sizes, from small motors used in handheld devices to large motors used in industrial equipment. They work by using the principles of electromagnetism to produce rotational motion. The motor consists of a rotor, which rotates around a central axis, and a stator, which contains the electrical windings that produce the magnetic field. When an electrical current is applied to the windings, a magnetic field is generated, which interacts with the magnetic field of the rotor, causing it to spin. Now let us get into the production process. As you watch the video, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. The production process begins by making a pattern for the motor body, which is the exact size and shape of the motor body and is used to make the mold for the casting process. A mold is created from sand, which is packed around the pattern, and molten metal, typically aluminum or iron, is then poured into the cavity in the sand mold, filling it up and taking on the shape of the mold. 
After the molten metal has cooled and solidified in the mold, the sand mold is broken apart and the casting is removed. The casting is then cleaned and inspected for any defects. The casting is then machined to the required specifications, cutting and shaping the metal using various tools such as lathes and milling machines. Next, the factory moves onto the winding stage, where a copper wire is carefully wound around the stator in a specific pattern to ensure that the motor functions properly. The stator is then assembled with other components such as the rotor and bearings, and carefully aligned to ensure that the motor operates smoothly and efficiently. Finally, the motor is put through a series of tests to ensure that it meets the required specifications, such as measuring the motor's power output, efficiency, and noise level. Once the motor has passed all of the required tests, it is packaged and prepared for shipment to customers. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like, subscribe and turn on notifications for future videos. Thanks for watching.